Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the properties toolbar right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've created from the last tutorial. You can see here that we have form one. Now let's go ahead and make this a bit bigger here. And you can see that when we select form one, that a properties window comes up. Now there's a lot of stuff you can do in here. First off, there's the name. And just like anything else, any buttons or lists or um, labels, you want to have a name for your form that's going to be easy to remember if you're going to be using more than one form. So we'll just call this one main form. Okay, so you can see that we've got a bunch of options right here. I'm just going to go ahead and cover some of the most important ones and the ones that you're going to use. So here we have the back color where you can change the color of the uh, back of your form. So let's make this a bit bigger so you can see what I'm talking about. We can change it to button shadow. And you can see that you've got a whole bunch of options down here under the system tab. Now we can also take a look at the web tab which has some other other colors that you will find often on the web that's why it's called the web tab now it has a whole bunch of colors um, and we can also go to the custom tab where we can select one of these and create our own colors so here we can have the background red or we can do white so let's just go ahead and change this back to button face now we can also select a background image now we can use the radio button local resource and we can click import and it'll go ahead and let us select a picture so I'll just go ahead and go to my desktop and we'll use a picture here from my YouTube page and we'll just go ahead and click OK and you can see here that it sets the background to that now let's go ahead and remove that we can go ahead and click clear here and then click OK and you can see that the background image is gone now we can select from various options uh, whenever we put a background image on we can have it tile, center, stretch, or zoom now let's scroll down a little bit you can set the text of I mean the color of the text that's going to be in your text box you can select the icon uh, so let's just go ahead and use this icon and I'm going to use this icon in one of the tutorials coming close to the end where we're going to create a favorites viewer. Um, you can set the form border si style, which is sizable at the moment. You can set it to fix 3D, fix single. And basically what that means is that they can't resize it like this. It won't let them. Um, you can select fix tool window, which won't let them minimize or maximize. And they have to either close out of it or just ignore it. Um, they're sizable to a window where they can um, change the size of it. There's uh, sizable. And let's go ahead and look at some more of the properties. You can set it to maximize box, true or false, um, so as to prevent them from maximizing the box. And you can see that when we run this program, um, let's say if we wanted to maximize it it wouldn't scale up the buttons properly or anything else and it would just make it look uh, ugly so so if the buttons aren't going to auto size then you may want to set minimize maximize box to true now you can also select minimize box to allow them to minimize it or not you can change the opacity so let's change it to 50 and if we go ahead and run this you can see that our form is almost see-through you can change the size um, you can do it through the properties or you can just do it by dragging uh, one of these dots right here you can change the text of it so we can just type hello world here and you've got what's called the transparency key so if we go ahead and select something like this green this lime green and come up here and change the back color to that same color 
you can see what we get. Let's go ahead and change the, the opacity back to 100%. So if we go ahead and run this, you can see that it gives us a form that is completely clear uh, except for the button and uh, the surrounding, the title bar and the surrounding edges. So then when, when we click say hello, it works perfectly fine. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do in the properties. I really, I highly suggest that you play around with those, see what you can do, um, and just try out some new things. Um, you can take a look at the button properties and mess around with those. And uh, once you've done that a little bit, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.